so is the M2K Techno the sneaker of the year for 2018? I definitely think it's a contender. YouTube, it's your boy JD coming at you with another review and today we finally got the long overdue review of the Nike M2K Techno in men's sizing. You guys might have already watched my review of this sneaker. This is the M2K Techno that came out in women's sizing only all the way back in April and I've been waiting, I've been waiting, I've been waiting uh, April, May, June, July, four months, Nike, four months for this sneaker to finally drop in men's sizing and I was glad I was able to cop this. So the M2K Techno is basically Nike's update of the original Air Monarch which is one of their top selling sneakers every single year. Every single year it's in their top five most sold sneakers. Nike took the original Air Monarch and basically updated it for 2018 and tried to get the sneaker to appeal more to the younger crowd because of this whole chunky movement. And yes, I think Nike absolutely knocked it out of the park with this design and especially this colorway. So the first time we actually got a chance to see this colorway was way back in February during the John Elliott Spring and Summer Fashion Show. And this immediately got people saying that this was a John Elliott Nike Monarch collab. Turns out that this sneaker had absolutely nothing to do with John Elliott, which is a shame because I love John Elliott. But this is just simply a general Nike release. So when this sneaker first released way back in April, I did cop this Phantom colorway. And my only critique of this was that it was a bit too plain. There's so many panels here on the M2K Techno that I thought there was a lot of potential for a really dope colorway. And then came this. And I think this colorway is absolutely insane. It's so well done. So you got basically the three major colors are orange, blue and white and we also have hits of black and I just think this looks super super clean I mean you got these orange panels here contrasting with the black swoosh on the toe box you got hits of blue and as well on the back here you have this like plastic uh, panel here it, it kind of it looks black but it on closer look it kind of looks like a navy blue and then on the outsole you do have a hit, big hit of black here my actual favorite uh, color element of this entire sneaker was not the orange. I mean, in pictures, I did really love the orange, but when looking at it, I think my favorite part of the sneaker is actually this black tongue here. Like it just contrasts so well with the rest of the shoe. And it's, it's basically begging you to wear this sneaker with black socks. What do you guys think about this colorway? Do you think this is the best colorway to drop so far of the M2K Techno? I think it is by a long shot but I wanna know what you guys think. Also, we did get news that there will be more colorways dropping of the sneaker in the fall. We do have this uh, beige looking colorway. I think it's called a particle beige. Uh, we also have this gray colorway uh, with a hit of orange at the back. And we have this, finally this uh, Bordeaux or magenta looking colorway. So the price point of this sneaker, 110 US dollars. Here in Europe, I paid a hundred euros for this and for a hundred euros, what you're getting is just really good value for money. So the quality of this sneaker, it doesn't feel like really nice leather, but it actually feels like really durable leather. Like this is going to last you a very long time and it has surprisingly really, really good comfort for a hundred and hundred and ten dollar sneaker. Although the sneaker looks really big and chunky, I would say when it comes to sizing, go true to size. I did go true to size in this and it just fit me absolutely perfectly. So 2018 is all about the dad shoe. Basically every major sneaker brand has released their version of a dad shoe. And I think compared to all of the newer dad shoes that came out this year, this one has to be top two or maybe even the best. So let's go through them. So. Uh, Adidas basically released the uh, Young One and also the uh, re-release of the uh, Falcon Dorf. I think this sneaker looks better than both of those, in just my opinion. 
and then Puma released basically a brand new sneaker model, the Thunder, uh, which I think was a really, really well done model. Also Puma released uh, a retro sneaker, the RS, and once again, I think this one is better than both of those. Basically the only dad shoe out there that I think is better than this one, better looking than this one, is probably the Yeezy 700. I think that was the original shoe that basically started this entire trend in fashion right now. So you got to give respect to that sneaker and I just love the way that one looks and I'm really hoping to get a W when it re-releases next month in September. Actually I take all of that back, I just remembered I think the best new dad sneaker, at least the best looking new dad sneaker is probably the Y3 Kaiwa. You might only hear that on this channel, but I love that sneaker. But that's a $400 sneaker. You can get four of these for one of those. You can put your entire family in dad sneakers for one of those. So for $110, you're getting a really good entry into the dad sneaker trend. And you're getting, especially in this colorway, you're getting a really beautiful looking shoe, I think. And I don't see how this isn't in the conversation for sneaker of the year. So I know everyone has been saying this shoe right here, the React 87, is probably the sneaker of the year, but in my opinion, after wearing it for about two months, I'm really quite disappointed in the quality of this sneaker. I can do an entire review talking about this. Uh, if you guys wanna see that, comment down below. But yeah, the quality of this sneaker is just not very durable, and for that reason, I no longer will put this in the conversation for sneaker of the year. However, this one, $110, beautiful looking sneaker i think this one for me is much more of a contender for sneaker of the year than the react element so there you have it guys my review of the m2k techno if you enjoyed this video hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more content i'm getting close to a thousand subscribers guys so please hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed the video Thank you so much for all the positive feedback I've been getting. And now, on feet, coming right now, peace.